Hello well wishers and welcome to my channel Aspiring Minds. In today's video, we are going to do a beautiful poem written by Rabindranath Tagore called The Journey. So grab your virtual seats and let's begin this poetic journey. Rabindranath Tagore was a renowned Bengali poet, philosopher and he won the Nobel Prize in Literature in the year 1913. His works are deeply rooted in the Indian culture and have a universal appeal. The poem The Journey reflects on Tagore's life's journey and the pursuit of material wealth versus inner fulfillment. He is trying to find a way to experience true joy in his life. and tagore often explored the themes of nature human emotions and the spiritual aspects of life in his poetry so the poem highlights the idea that the true meaning the true essence of life lies not in going on running behind material success but finding ways of achieving inner peace self discovery and finding happiness and joy in simple pleasures little things of life now let us start decoding the lines of the poem in stanza 1 we see the poet saying the morning sea of silence broke into ripples of bird songs and the flowers were all merry by the roadside and the wealth of gold was scattered through the rift of the clouds while we busily went on our way and paid no heed so basically we see that in stanza 1 the poet is saying or he is describing the beginning of his journey where the silence is being broken by the sound of the ripples that are forming in the sea the the sound of the birds singing is also adding to the beauty of the day along with that there are flowers which are scattered all around in the roadside and along with that the people are all walking in a busy manner they are in a rush to reach their destination or to reach their work in the morning and they are not paying attention to the beauty of the morning time in stanza 2 he says we sang no glad songs not played means they were not playing they were not enjoying themselves they were not singing when people sing it's generally to express their happiness but in this case people were really busy we went not to the village for barter that is they don't even go to barter goods we spoke not a word not smile just like a normal busy routine everyone woke up did whatever they had to to prepare themselves to and they left for work no one spoke a word to each other nor did they even care to smile at each other we lingered not on the way that is while they were going to work or wherever they were heading to they were not lingering that is they were not casually walking but they were rushing to reach their destination see he says we quickened our pace more and more as the time sped by that is with each passing minute with each passing day with each passing time they were just rushing through the path and trying to reach their ultimate destination and that is how life is we hardly have time to stop and think about anything in life we are so busy with our everyday routines at home by the time we come to stanza 3 that morning scene that the poet had been describing in stanza 1 and 2 is over it is midday now because he says the sun rose to the mid sky and the doves cooed in the shade that is the doves were also calling their near and dear ones to come and have lunch it was nearly lunch time withered leaves danced and whirled in the hot air of the noon so you see the word noon already tells you that it's been afternoon and still no one has cared to stop and observe the beauty of nature withered leaves means dry leaves and the, there was a very soft breeze that was blowing the leaves the dry leaves were dancing on the road but no one is even stopping to care about it along with that what are the other things he sees at noon time the shepherd boy drowsed and dreamed in the shadow of the banyan tree so the shepherd boy after having come back after having taken the cattle for grazing has come back and is now taking rest under the banyan tree 
and I laid myself down by the water and stretched my tired limbs on the grass. And what is it that the speaker or the poet is doing? The limbs are tired. He's tired of walking and now he is lying down by the water and trying to take some rest. Now as the poet or the speaker had been taking rest by the water, what does he observe? He sees his companions or his friends laughed at me in scorn. That is, they are having a condescending attitude. They are looking down upon the poet for taking rest now because according to his companions, it is not time for them to rest. But instead, what are they doing? They are expressing their hatred, their disgust at the fact that the poet is taking some rest by the water and in the meantime what do they do they held their heads high and hurried on they never looked back nor rested they vanished in the distant blue haze that is they did not care about giving company to him instead they ne- they didn't even look back they didn't even feel the need to take some rest to stop breathe a little instead they just hurried on and they were so quick that was the amount of rush that they had in life that they just vanished in the distant blue haze so this is what happens that in our own journey of life in our daily routine we hardly have time to spend with our friends with our family members and that's what the poet is alluding to that you know what kind of a life are we leading where we are so busy pursuing material wealth in trying to earn money in trying to complete tasks that we don't even tend to care for taking some rest or we don't even want to give time to ourselves nor our family or friends in stanza 5 now the poet is talking by moving a little more ahead in the future he's saying he's still talking about his friends and saying that it is not just that day when his friends ignored him because just because he was taking rest but instead what does he observe about his friends they crossed many meadows and hills and passed through strange far away countries that because of work in order to pursue more wealth in order to earn more money what did they do they did not even remain stuck to their homeland they instead traveled far and wide just to earn money just to you know increase their standard of living and then what does the poet say all honor to you heroic host of the interminable path that is he is giving credit or he is saying that all this happened because of you heroic host that is he is saying that it is because of the journey of life that people are running behind material wealth and they are not stopping to spend time with each other mockery and reproach pricked me to rise but found no repose response in me he is saying that i was mocked i was made fun of i was reproached means i was hated for taking this decision of taking rest but still these opinions of others were not strong enough to generate a response in me i was still stuck to my decision of taking a break taking rest and lying by the water or going slow with my life the opinion of my friends whether they care for me whether they hated me for taking this decision of taking rest or not did not affect me i remained stuck to my decision of going slow in life and then what does he say i gave myself up for the lost in the depth of a glad humiliation in the shadow of a dim delight he's saying that yes i was feeling lost i was feeling humiliated for being not being at par with my friends for not doing what they were doing for not doing what a person of my age is supposed to be doing like you know going out to work earning money taking care of getting more wealth in my favor i did not do that instead i was finding delight in taking rest in stanza 7 we see the poet saying the repose of the sun embroidered green gloom slowly spread over my heart that is the rest that he was taking by the water with the sun shining over him and greenery all around really touched his heart i forgot for what i had traveled and i surrendered my mind without struggle 
to the maze of shadows and songs that is he forgot the purpose of his travel but still he was happy for whatever decision he had taken and he surrendered himself to nature to whatever was happening around him he did not have an ultimate destination that he had to reach but wherever he was he was happy because it was his own decision and it was also making him feel restful and happy in stanza 8 he says at last when i woke from my slumber that is when he was he had been resting he had been sleeping so when he woke up i saw thee standing by me flooding my sleep with thy smile how i had feared that the path was long and weary some weary some means tired some it was it was going to be a very tiring path and the struggle to reach thee was hard that is in this stanza he is saying that when he wakes up he finds a presence symbolized by smile and it removes all the fears he had of a long and tiring path and the ultimate destination of self discovery that he reached was a satisfactory one at the end for him let us now have a look at the major themes of the poem firstly it talks about nature's beauty the opening stanza portrays the beauty of nature emphasizing the contrast between a calm serene environment and the travelers who are ignorant of the beauty all around them secondly it deals with pursuit of material wealth versus inner fulfillment the poem explores the consequence of a single minded pursuit for wealth and success suggesting that true satisfaction true joy lies in appreciating the simple things of life instead of running behind success money and wealth and lastly the poem is also a journey of self discovery as we see the poet surrender to the shadows and songs represents a journey that he takes within himself leading to a realization about what are the things he is doing about justification of the fact that yes his decisions are correct for him and it also at the same time brings a sense of calm a sense of inner peace within the speaker and that is what we all need in our busy fast paced life we hardly have time for ourselves but ultimately the poem is so relevant even in today's times because it tells you to take out time for yourself and you you can also have a look at another poem that is live on my channel called if by rudyard kipling that will help you to understand how the aspects of poem what tagore wrote is also being told by other poets likewise so that's it from this video i hope you liked it do hit the like button subscribe to my channel for more such future updates Thank you for watching.